just uh, we got up to a really bad start. And, uh, you know, we gave him five runs there in the third, a couple of walks, an air, really big air that, you know, that uh, they took advantage of and they got a fourth out. And, you know, they singled with two outs to put up five instead of three. And, you know, we were we were trying to climb out of a hole, but we gave ourselves an opportunity to to win the game in the eighth and the ninth. And, uh, you know, the eighth was a, was a killer. Uh, just couldn't get the big hit there. And, uh, you know, it's just that's the disappointment. You got to put the bat on the ball, score a run, get a little bit closer. And then obviously in the ninth, we rallied again uh, with the one out single and then the double hit off the wall and, you know, had another opportunity and and just and had a couple of good hitters up there, guys that, that can get it done. And they just uh, they just couldn't get the big hit. So credit to Georgia's pitching and, you know, us not uh, not coming through with that uh, that big hit. Bob. Uh, Dave, I, I heard Phil say Tiger's on the trip, but isn't on the roster, but through a good bullpen. Just wondering, what, what's the update on him? And then what, what's uh, the, the update on Parker Rowland? Could he possibly play the next couple games? So Tiger is, he, I mean, he he's probably about there, but we just feel like that we need to go one more week. Um, so we went ahead and threw him a bullpen yesterday, threw really well. You know, it's not like he's throwing a lot of pitches, but uh, – just, just feel like one more and we'll be a little bit safer. And then, you know, next weekend we should get him out there. And that was the target date all along, you know, so we just thought let's just stick with it. And then I'm, I'm Parker Rowan. Yeah. I mean, it's, uh, I don't know if he's going to be ready or not. Um, it's, you know, he's having some back issues. So uh, we'll just, uh, you know, I, I doubt it, you know, we'll see. And what, What'd you make of how how and start? Obviously not his, not his usual stuff. No, I mean he's wild. He walked five, and uh, just pitching behind in the count a little bit. And they've got got some good hitters, you know. Just you know, just, just he's got to pitch ahead. He's got a good fastball, but he, he uses his off speed well. And you know they didn't chase, and um, you know that's. That when that's the case, you gotta you gotta throw the ball over the plate, and uh, and then we we didn't we didn't play good defense behind him, and I mean then first inning, we didn't turn a double play, uh, should have been out number two and three, but we didn't get three because we didn't get the ball to second baseman in, in time, and you know he had to throw another 10, 12 pitches that inning, and then obviously in the in the third inning, you know but a little, a little bit of bad hop there, but. Uh, you know, that we gave him another out and they took advantage of it and scored two more runs. So we didn't help him out at all either. Coach. Yeah, Dave, given those those defensive miscues and the the wildness, how big was it that he was still able to give you five innings tonight? Yeah, it was big, you know, that he he had a had a pretty good, I think. Well, he fought through the fourth and then he, you know, he gave us a a fairly good fifth and and kept it right around ninety nine, hundred pitches somewhere in there. And uh, you know, did a really good job by Dylan Carter coming in and, you know, giving us an opportunity to to kind of climb back in the ball game and and we did and uh we just didn't win it. Yeah, I was gonna ask you about Carter and, and the decision to pull him when you did, was that just a matter of not wanting to to let them see him a second time tonight? A little bit. We we wanted uh just to bring Christian in to get an out. He got good velocity and you know, we just felt like with Condon, we needed to uh, we needed to keep it right where we were. Dylan is probably throwing enough pitches if we were planning on using him again on the weekend, and uh, just let Christian let one go there, and he did, and he got it in on him just enough to get him out. Robert, uh, with with the the catch that Kendall Diggs made at the wall and right, um, you know, obviously it didn't ended up mattering because they they had a home run later in the inning. But what what did you make of that play? He did a real good job getting to the fence. And uh, a lot of times when guys get back to the fence, they kind of jump and they hit the fence and it keeps them from getting up in the air. He got back uh, there and he knew right where he was and just got up and made the catch. I mean, it was a big play at the time. Um, like you said, you know, a few hitters later, and I know there was a walk in there that uh, he was getting behind. He threw a first pitch fastball or catcher and he, he crushed it. You know who your starting pitcher is going to be tomorrow? Not yet. Um, 
it'll either be, you know, I mean, it, it's the same people. So, you know, no. Tom? Dave, I think they got you at three for 18 with runners in scoring position. Um, I don't know. Was that maybe one of the more frustrating kind of clutch hitting games that you, you've had or non-clutch? Yeah, we've, we've been pretty good this year, at least, you know, maybe not getting the super big hit, but moving people over and then getting them in and scoring a run here or there. And uh, we didn't do that tonight. You know, tonight was all or nothing, it seemed like. And it was, uh, you know, I guess you can credit their pitching staff for doing a good job. But, you know, we uh, we we didn't look like our normal selves tonight. Daniel? All for at least the near future. Send really into the I don't know what you're saying. Daniel, we can't hear you. Hutch, close the out before we go to players. Yeah, Dave, uh, could you talk about the decision to go from Bolton to Cole when you did? And might that be something you, you stick with tomorrow or moving forward? It, it was an offensive thing. Um, and, you know, I, I think, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but it was all about we were losing and we needed to score. So, you know, the – you just feel like that it was just time. Um, I mean, Bolton's a better defender. He had a bad night. So what it is, but uh, on the offensive side, you know, Cole's Cole's stronger. So just thought, let's, let's go, you know, his first bat swung at the first pitch, blew out, took a good swing, second bat, two pitches in, got him, got in a, got in a, a good hitters count and got him a fastball and smoked it down the line for a double. And, well, you had a big opportunity there in the eighth to, to really do some damage and uh, give the pitcher credit. He spotted a couple fastballs pretty good on him, but uh, yeah, it was a big opportunity. And then their starter was on a pitch count tonight. Y'all made him throw 28 pitches in the first. You know, how disappointing was it that he was still able to, to give them four innings? Yeah, that was a disappointing part also. You know, we got, you know, we get him way up there, the one, one inning, laying off stuff in the next inning we're hitting change ups off the end of the bat and flying out and grounding out and he didn't throw but five or six pitches it seemed like in inning number two about the same in inning number three and then they punched in five after after you know you could just kind of feel it you know that it it wasn't it wasn't good all right coach thanks for the time okay